Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are finally back in the Iowa. I know it's been a little bit, but it's back. My favorite ship in the game so far. Now, it's kind of a toss up between the Alabama and the Iowa. I love both of them, but the Iowa is just it's so consistent. As long as you're not a dummy, you will be just fine. No matter what. I have had my Iowa up against some ridiculously bad odds. If you guys watched the stream the other day, you know that some of the, like, being up against the two Richelieu's or uh, Jean Bart's at the end of uh, the one stream. But uh, two, two Iowas versus two Jean Bart's. Initially, it was just me versus the two, but the other Iowa was able to come up and uh, lend a hand, and we were able to uh, take them both out. Um, it, it's it's just a great ship. It's got just enough armor. Uh, the configuration allows you to, to maintain a bow tanking position. It's got the extra guns at the rear if you do get a chance to give some broadsides to folk. Uh, it's just a great ship. <laughs> and the reason I like it better than the Alabama is just for the fact that it has the uh, extra tankiness. It, the Alabama gets regular penetrations all the time through the front of a ship. And then, of course, if you give the broadside just like the Iowa, you're in a world of trouble. And uh, that was not the best shot ever. Only one hit. But for 5,000 damage, you can't really argue with it. Um, but the Alabama's strengths are the Iowa's weaknesses. Uh, not being able to turn, so the Alabama is able to turn. Um, they would complement each other pretty well in a division. Because you have the Iowa holding back a little bit the Alabama is able to push forward a little bit more um, and then you're you're able to just I don't know complement each other very well and then you got on top of that you got the 16 inch uh, American super heavy rounds going down range and let's just be real there isn't better armor piercing in the game it just isn't uh, the only ships that come close to matching the uh, consistency of the Iowa and the Alabama is the French battleships and the reason that they get I don't know I think the French battleships probably got a little too much penetration considering they're only 100, 380 millimeter rounds um, they they just seem to no matter what the angle is be able to get good penetrations even if they don't get citadels <laughs> like Enemy that speaking damaged. of Alabama's hi <laughs> sorry brother but uh, that's what you get for going broadside uh, but it, when you're when you're getting full penetrations on at least 40 to 50 percent of your shells at maximum range out of 380 uh, millimeter guns and then I shoot 406 millimeter guns at medium range and I bounce off of people or shatter the shells and mine are super heavy rounds. <laughs> I, I feel like there's a bit of a, an issue with the, the balance when it comes to the penetration. And that's why the Jean Bart is absolutely terrifying. The Jean Bart is, do not question, terrifying. Richelieu's good enough as it, is, as it is, but you throw in the fact that if you screw up and go broadside and that guy has his reload ability, that he can reload in 10 seconds and knock you out of the match, like, you can't possibly, there's no other ship in the game that can do it. Um, the what is it the Asashio is that is that the new ship that's got the torpedo reload booster that's terrifying in its own right <laughs> I haven't had a chance to get that one yet but um, maybe we'll check it out and see what you guys think about that you guys know I'm not the best destroyer player in the world but uh, in a tier 6 Japanese I think that the the better would probably still be the Akatsuki Akatsuki is a great ship it's so overpowered for its tier. That's why it just got its nerf. Oh, God, Colorado. Ooh, yep, yep. That's what you get. Sitting broadside on in front of the entire enemy team. You're going to get a paddling. And now he's like, i got to get out of here. You think? <laughs> and you can see, we're just moving up slowly. We're not in any hurries. There's still a destroyer out there that we don't want to tangle with. The ultimate killer of an Iowa is a destroyer. It's just... There's nothing that will ruin you quicker than a destroyer. Unless, of course, you park yourself broadside in front of the entire enemy team, in which case, 90% of the time, you're going to get citadeled. 
American battleships, if you are broadside, get citadel uh, quicker and more consistently than any other battleship in the game. And that ain't even a... And it, it's not even disputed. There's no other class of battleship in the game that guarantees a citadel more than the Americans do. If you are broadside, you are getting citadel. <laughs> That's just the way it is. So you learn pretty quick that there's a reason two-thirds of your firepower is over the nose of the ship. <laughs> it's because that's the way it's supposed to be played. Uh, or the way it's supposed to be used. Only time you use that rear gun is when, you know, you catch somebody slipping at the edge of the map or something and you're they're not looking at you. Because if you give it up, you're going to regret it. Now, we've got an Iowa who's starting to turn here. If he gives us much more angle than this, at this angle, it's still not a guarantee that I'm going to penetrate because it's an Iowa. So uh, you'll see, oh, hello, New Orleans. Wait for it. Uh, give him a little more lead. He's a little faster than a Baltimore. So, uh, oh, my God, he just got touched. <laughs> he just got touched in the most, oh, God. He got finished. Never mind. See what I mean about a Rishu? <laughs> Wonder who touched him first. My God, he got touched. But uh, Iowa is kind of... If it's angled off to the side like the Iowa was for us and still is right now, you're not guaranteed to penetrate. So you want to try to aim a little higher up onto the side. Maybe get some shots into the uh, thinner armor up on the side or the superstructure. And uh, you can see three bounces right off the side. Nothing. No, no damage whatsoever. But now... Now it's a guaranteed... This is Citadel City right here. Take me down to the Citadel City. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, come on. What was that? Really? And he's never going to live long enough for me to get another shot off. Not with that much firepower hitting him. There's an Atlanta over there somewhere. And down he goes. Hey, look. It's the Colorado. We took over half his health the first time. He's not giving us the full broadside, but he's given us enough that this looks pretty nasty. <laughs> yep. No citadels, but nasty penetrations. Sending the rear gun, too, just to say hello. And, yeah, pretty accurate. <laughs> we bounced two rounds off the side of a ship. That's a little, little iffy for me. We must have hit the torpedo belt or something. It just got unlucky. Because... Generally speaking, you don't bounce off the side of a Colorado very often. <laughs> and that dispersion looks disgusting. And not in a good way. Yeah, one hit for next to nothing. Great. Great. Now, right now, we're not doing the best. But we've we've held our, our own on this side of the map. We've had quite a bit of support over here. And now that our team has pushed up through the left side... We've got this team in a, in a pincher, and there's nothing they can do about it. They've lost their destroyer. All that's left are targets that are easily able to be spotted. Speaking of which, New Orleans, you've lived too long. Time to die. Go home. I don't even have to worry about shooting him with, with more than one gun. I know he's dead. I placed that shot pretty well, and I screwed up. <laughs> Darn it. Spartan, finish your targets. You gotta be able to hit somebody once in a while, darn it. Well, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It looked like we were a little bit, uh, a little bit behind him, so we're gonna give him a little extra lead this time. A little two and a half, aim a little high, give him the rear gun. Are we gonna need to fire the front? Nope, we're good. <laughs> that leaves the front guns for. Oh, okay, turpets. Turpets wants some. He's even firing at me. I'm giving him a pretty juicy broadside at the moment, so not not a bad plan to shoot at me, but we get pretty lucky. His dispersion is German, so we're good. And we get 8,200 damage back at him because our dispersion is American. <laughs> and we got better armor piercing, and he's got weaker armor, but he's got the layered armor that causes everybody so much trouble, especially the closer you get to him. But... At this angle, all he's doing is guaranteeing that I'm going to get penetrations. So we fire at the at the water line again. He's angled. As long as we don't hit the broad side of him. Yep, like that. <laughs> of course, we missed him with most of them. Talk about German dispersion, Spartan. Take that. <laughs> uh, you know, RNG. You gotta love it. One of the things I get, I get picked on a lot for in the comments is... Uh, Hey, he was going in reverse. Maybe that's why I missed him. I didn't notice. 
Well, we're not gonna miss him this time. Wait for it, shot out. And three, two, one, pow! Much better result. <laughs> and he's burning, so he's not long for this world. Am I gonna take a shot at the Colorado before we switch over to firing at the Bismarck who's just firing at me and I don't give a crap? <laughs> he's been over there firing at me and he gets one last shot off. Really? Really, Turpitz? You managed to put it out? Really? All right, time to die. I, I've played with you long enough. Actually, I just go ahead and shoot at the Colorado here. Like, screw it. I want to try to get that guy. Everybody was firing at the Turpitz. He's going to die. Maybe I can finish the Colorado off. He was actually in the middle of a turn, so we missed him. Unfortunate, but it is a thing. Now we're starting to get into that range where the secondaries on the Bismarck are going to be getting ready to kick off. Which means bad things for me because I have flammable cannoneer, which means inevitably I am going to be caught on fire in a heartbeat. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. You get into a fight with a Bismarck inside 10 kilometers and those secondaries start firing and you have flammable cannoneer you will be starting to take fire damage. Now we've got over half our health left, so we're not in that big of trouble. Well, not quite half our health left. Uh, we've got another heal in the pocket just in case. Uh, we're going to go ahead and burn a damage control, which was not the best play here. Because, as I said, we're going to be in trouble in a short amount of time. Now, he's sailing right towards all those, this, those nice torpedoes, which is preferable for me because that's less damage I have to worry about. Uh, if he takes any... Nope, he missed them all. Unfortunate. But we get good penetrations through the side of a ship. And the Bismarck and the Turpits are not immune to giving up the side and getting citadel So you've got to be aware of it. Just because you have turtleback armor doesn't mean that you're not going to be citadel if you give the broadside of your ship to another battleship at this kind of range. It helps, but if you give it up... Even the penetrations that I'm going to get from here are going to be devastating. And there you go. No citadels, but multiple battleship. regular penetrations stack up in a hurry. You're talking five to 6,000 damage every time that it penetrates. We've got six shells coming at you. Probably five of them, so you can do the math real quick. It adds up. Top of the leaderboard, not bad. 150,000 damage. A, a nice solid finish, I think. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.